Evening Prayer March 14, 2024 In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, As the sun sets on this day, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude and reverence. We thank you for the blessings you've bestowed upon us throughout this day, for the moments of joy, for the challenges that have strengthened us, and for the opportunities to grow in faith and love. In this tranquil hour, we seek your presence, Lord. As the world around us grows quiet, may your peace envelop our souls. Let your calming presence settle upon us, soothing our worries and fears, and filling us with a deep sense of serenity. We acknowledge, O oh God, that we are imperfect beings, prone to stumble and fall. Forgive us for our shortcomings, our moments of weakness, and our failures to live up to your perfect standards. Grant us the wisdom to learn from our mistakes and the strength to strive for better each day. As we reflect on the events of this day, we lift up to you those who are suffering and in need. Comfort the brokenhearted, heal the sick, and provide for the lonely and the oppressed. May your love be a balm to their wounds and your presence a source of hope in their despair. We pray for our families and loved ones, asking for your protection and guidance over their lives. May our homes be filled with harmony and understanding, and may our relationships be rooted in love and mutual respect. Lord, we also intercede for our world, which is plagued by violence, injustice, and division. Help us to be agents of peace and reconciliation, shining your light in the darkness and working towards a future where all may live in dignity and equality. Finally, as we prepare to rest our weary bodies, we entrust ourselves into your care. Watch over us through the night, O Lord, and grant us restful sleep that we may rise refreshed to greet the new day with renewed strength and faith. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Psalm 39-1 Will take heed to my ways. Fellow traveler, do not presume within yourself saying, I will journey here and there without falling into sin, for you are never entirely free from the peril of temptation to boast of your security. The path ahead is treacherous, making it difficult to navigate without soiling your garments. This world is like pitch, constant vigilance is required to keep your hands clean when handling it. At every turn, there lurks a thief ready to steal your treasures. Every blessing presents a temptation. Every joy conceals a trap. And if by divine grace you ever reach heaven in the end, it will be solely attributed to the power of your Father. Be ever watchful. Just as one should be cautious when carrying gunpowder near a flame, you too must be wary of entering into temptation. Even your everyday actions can be sharp tools, handle them with care. This world offers nothing to nurture a Christian's piety but everything to undermine it. How earnestly you should seek God's guidance to sustain you. Your prayer should be, Uphold me, and I will be safe. But after praying, you must remain vigilant, guarding every thought, word, and deed with holy vigilance. 
Avoid unnecessary exposure to evil, but if circumstances demand it, if you are called to places where danger lurks, never go forth without your shield. For if the devil catches you unguarded, he will rejoice in his apparent victory and swiftly wound you with his arrows. Though you may not be slain, you can still be wounded. Be sober-minded, be watchful, for danger may strike when you least expect it. Therefore, take heed of your path and remain steadfast in prayer. No one has ever fallen into sin by being too vigilant. May the Holy Spirit guide us in all our ways, so that they may always be pleasing to the Lord. Amen.